Yes, my friends, welcome back. It's been a long time since I've made a reaction video like this, but because it's the summer window, and because we're getting closer now to confirming our first official signing of this period, that seems set to be Nicholas Jackson. We have to be realistic too, right? We're not in the market and we don't have the funds to constantly sign 100 million players. We must believe in our scouting team to find the next great talents to come from European football. And if these guys are quickly moving for Nicholas Jackson, that gives me some confidence and that gives me some hope. So if you guys want to see this move, hit that like button. And without wasting any more time, now as we know, Nicholas ended last season for Villarreal in spectacular fashion, crazy scoring streaks. And he's the reason why they secured European football in the end. So he's obviously doing something right. First touch, boom. Okay, okay. All right, okay. Let's break this goal down, yeah? <laughs> now, this is what I like. I like strikers that like, they think ahead, right? The one step ahead with their movement. As we can see, he's already peeling off to the right hand side. He's realized that there's space that he can target down that side. He's holding his run, he's holding his run. Okay, get some fortune because the header comes off the uh, uh, lady defender, I think. Great first touch to take it out of his feet. And because of that first touch straight away, he sees the keeper's about to come. He has all that goal now down the left hand side. And his technique, getting it over the ball, boom, hard and low. They're always very hard for keepers to save. So already, I'm liking how he's thinking. And you create your own luck when you're a striker, yeah? But oh, okay. Now here we're seeing that this guy is comfortable now coming to the halfway line to receive the ball. And I kind of feel like for Chelsea strikers in particular, they need to have that aspect of their game on point, right? Because sometimes our teammates need to relieve pressure. We need someone like a keeper can hit long balls too, for example. You know, or a teammate, if he's getting closed down in his own half, he wants his striker to relieve that pressure, right? And this is where Nicholas is sick because see how he comes down halfway line. Great first, nice little skill around his opponent. And look, he has the confidence in his technique to carry that ball and drive to kickstart that attack then. And look at the upper body strength as well, like 21 years old. Nice play and wins the foul. Like winning fouls is so key as well too for a striker. Relieves pressure even more. And I kind of feel like that's how you force your opponents to kind of react to you in that sense. Create space for himself, nice little footwork and then boom, near post effort. I'm liking the fact that he can carry the ball and take these shots. Like he creates these openings for himself here. I feel like the, the top strikers of the making, they, they got that in their game. Nice awareness. Moreno, Gerard Moreno should have scored that then. Easy should have scored that then. Very complacent. That's an assist taken away from him. But look at the link up. Okay, okay. Now, I know a lot of you guys watching, you're probably like FM nerds as well. Like already, if I was to profile this guy, for me, he's a complete forward because he can, of course, run the, the lines, get in behind. He can drop deep. He can facilitate the players well too. And look at that flick, man. Look at that flick. And this is what I mean. Like, you need runners in behind. It's so key. And this guy can link up and find them. Look. That's it. That little first time flick. That little La Liga flair there. Fires his teammate. Unfortunately, nothing comes from that. Anyway, a little step over. Carries it down the left. And sit goal, sit goal. Now already, you know, he's got like 12 goals and I think four assists. Now four assists is very good considering the fact that he made a start at Villarreal near the end of last season. That's when he really started to come up a lot more. And obviously we're seeing like a, a good variety of his game and this this opening minute right now. Great goal, takes uh, his opponent down the, uh, the flanks. A nice little back heel from his, uh, his teammate then. Oh, nice little drop inside. That reminds me of Didier Drogba a little bit then. <laughs> this is what I mean. A striker that can take his man on, hold the ball up, lead the line, drop deep. Not many strikers can do that to the highest, highest level, yeah? So I'm liking this kid's potential already. Oh, come on, brother. Come on. Come on. You see these little hard turn flicks and drops? Like, now this guy knows that he's, he's brazy on the ball, for sure. Oh, come on. The nutmeg too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is the type of profile of striker. Like, I don't know at this football club, but we don't like go for them a lot more often. You know what I mean? We're always going for like these speed merchants in behind or these target men that can only just target 
and do nothing else. But look how he's facilitating the play like this. Need to see this again, my guys. Carries, 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 of course, before his uh, teammates offside. And nice way to pass. Very comfortable and confident playing them balls forward. Finds his teammate again on the right. Long shot. Oh, that's a mad shot from Kapue then. God, look at the pace. Blistering pace. Blistering pace. Like, in this, he can just fully take his man on and explode away and create these openings and angles. Like, obviously, he can play on the flanks as well, too. So, he has a game time down there. But you feel like up front as he develops and grows, he's 21. Oh, nah, nah. I feel like the scouting team might have done it, you know. <laughs> this reminds me a little bit like a Diego Costa finish versus Everton type of thing. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's it. Stops the ball and that's it. Can accelerate away and explode away in them short distances. Wins presses really well to win that ball. Obviously, it's highlights. It's all that there's a limit behind seeing this overall full game. We've seen like, the best of what he's done last season. But that's it. That's what I mean. Look at these details. Now, obviously, Pochettino had Harry Kane flanked, you know, either alongside him, you know, Son, Lucas, etc., etc. He wants a forward that can do more than just get goals here. Yeah? Now, if we're going to be having guys like Medweke, Mudrik and others, you know, Sterling as well too, making them diagonal runs in behind, you need a striker that can create those types of openings in space for them and has the ability to play them passes to find them into. Look at that first touch out of his feet. I've always liked La Liga strikers too. I just feel like La Liga is such a technical league where if you're not on point with like the basics, you're going to get exposed technically in that league. And I feel like they just produce such a classy amount of players that do well in the Prem. Now look at like uh, Isaac, for example, from Newcastle. Like this guy could have scored a few more goals, but since he's come to the Premier League, I mean, the guy's very unlucky with the injuries. He could have exploded, right? But I'm, so, I'm seeing a little bit of that similarity in terms of like the, you know, the, the frame of Isaac and obviously Jackson as well too. And just like how comfortable and, and confident they are with their skills. That's what I like, man. L and that's it far post run in behind scores with his head easy goal easy goal but I mean I want my strikers to score easy goals I feel like at Chelsea they have to score the hardest goals all the time but bro like look at this man because my thing is how often yeah being Chelsea fans have you been in these exact moments you will be either played the most predictable pass in the world like, which is usually on the left hand side every single time for some reason well, by the time you want to play on the right hand side, the, the angles close off. But this is what I mean by players have the potential to play at a higher level. Because, because he's a sick player, he's thinking, you know what, you guys are making the space for me right now. Thank you. Let me do my thing right now. Boom. Carries it forward, carries it forward. Easy finish. But like decision making like this at this level in those moments, you have to be assertive and confident behind what you're doing, right? So I'm liking already what I'm seeing from this kids. Nice, just a little, little bit, a little bit of La Pausa there to find his teammate. Carrying it, carrying it. I mean, of course, we've got like Jeremy Pino, Chukwezi, uh, and obviously him. I mean, this is a point in front three, so I can see why these guys definitely stepped up near the end of last season. But oh, what's a finish? What's a finish? Boom, a little bit of a drop of finish from them tight angles. It's like properly blasted from those angles. And that's a nice ball over the top to create a counter-attack. Like, we're, hopefully, because we're so bad from scoring counter-attacking goals, it feels like we've got some potential now in the Pochettino with the players we have, who like, we have pace, who are explosive, who like to play on the break as well too. Having a Jackson that's either going to be getting a lot of game time, or maybe even finding himself being the first team striker. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing, not going to lie. That's it. Oh, first time ball to find the runner. That's the type of move I'm talking about, yeah? Like at Chelsea, we've, we've not had any uh, proper like attacking patterns to play, right? We play the most predictable pass every single time. Moments like this, under Pochettino, I'm talking about the wingers in behind. Can my striker find these runs in behind? Simple, easy, properly weighted ball, right in the path, but it was a great tackle then. But look how he's carrying it and driving. Of course, releases the team at the right time. Unlucky. Come on, man. Come on, Nicholas. Obviously, he speaks English. Intelligent guys, well, too. I feel like 
the fact that the scouts are like, we have to go for him right now, that makes me feel confident. Like, shit like that, man. Like, look at that. Maybe it's because I've, I've seen my club struggle for so long to score the most basic goals, right? When I see a guy have a bit of, like, technique and confidence in his game, but look how he's just waiting for the perfect angle, not panicking and rushing. Look, boom. Doesn't take the shot there, doesn't take it. Let's this guy get on the ground first and boom, creates the perfect opening right there. Oh, great first touch, Nicholas. Oh, nah, like I said, obviously I heard about this guy for the, like, on Twitter from the goal scoring exploits. Obviously I was checking up on him. He came close to signing for Bournemouth. Thank God he didn't, he didn't go there. That would absolutely kill his career. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this kid's, I'm liking what the scouts are seeing in him. Like, look how he, come on, look how he's opening these angles and, and the spaces up for these shots. Like, he's creating it himself. He's not relying on just like a cross or like the, the most simplest service before he can take a shot. He's got the skill to do it on his own. Just like out from nothing too, out from nothing, out from nothing. Like, how often are our guys carrying the ball to the right hand side? They're not getting past them, man. They're not doing that. It's easy for the defenders to stop them. But in sleep, boom, little, nice little like, um, how, I'm just getting my words completely wrong at this point in time. That sort of step over to create a better angle. The footwork, tight and close. And look how he's now got his defender where he wants him now, where he can now carry the ball, touch it with his left foot, create that space, chops inside and hits it first time away from the keeper. Great goal. And good, the power too from that shot, from the area. Sit goal, sit goal. And most of these goals are coming from counter-attacking moments. So I'm liking the composure that he's showing in these areas where he's playing the right pass or he's finding the right execution for his shots. And stats show that he's been extremely clinical with his conversion rate too. Now, of course, incredible form is probably helping with this, which is a positive that if this kid is sustaining this positivity and confidence in his game, he can do even more. But that's it, nice power there. And I'm liking how he's finding himself in the far post all the time. You know, far, a far post on the right, far post on the left hand side. It's a guy that's constantly aware of his surroundings. He knows the, where the space is. And I think his teammates know where to play these balls. Now that's what I mean by the understanding that you need to see. Anyway, like another deep drive, plays it forwards. I mean, the guy's impact with Villarreal was crazy. I think it was La Liga player of the month too. I mean, this, you're not, you can't have form like this by accident, in my opinion. Like, nah. Villarreal, they signed him from, I think, Casa something in Senegal. They've been training in their academy for time. This is his moment right now. He's taking it. And now he's already showing he can go to the next level. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Like, this is a, this guy looks like a talent. He's how he holds his defender off his ball too. And that's it, gets his body like, wrapped around um, the board as well. Low drive, very unlucky that hits the post then. Again, running behind, last one there, drops inside. Look how he's got this, the footwork to just create the opening. Like, I've just been so unfortunate seeing so many strikers at my club fluff their lines, lack that composure. I'm thinking, listen, you're a top class player. Do you not have the footwork, the composure to create the angle a little bit before you take your shot instead of just rushing everything? So already, I'm liking that a lot of his goals are technical. They aren't just tappings. They're not just like relying on service from his teammates. Like he is creating a lot of his goals here. That's what I like about La Liga forwards. Great play, great hold up. Takes it to the left hand side and we don't know what happens there. <laughs> he couldn't even take him down then. He couldn't even take him down. Too strong. Oh, super ball in behind. And he's a footballer. Like I said, La Liga strikers, they build them differently in that in that country, man. I'm sorry. Running behind and lucky, and that's it. You create your own luck. You do the positive things, the right actions. Of course, his teammate plays the pass at the right time, but again, you you create your own luck. Grissom for the left hand side. Um, that's it. Cross across goal to find his teammate. And let's look at the explosive pace, man. Like the strength, the pace, the balance when he's running with the balls too. He's not looking like all over the place, like he can't stay on his feet or he's struggling to do that, yeah? Lots of purpose. And that's it, opens his body up. Nice little Samuel Etu type of finish. Running behind two, defenders can't stop him. 
Obviously, again, I feel like you sign a striker to complement how you want to play. And are we getting some early signs that we're going to have more of like a counter-attacking threat for next season? Because for all this pace we have now up front, I feel like playing on the transition is probably the best way to play. And Jackson, I think as he grows, he'll probably be an even better, stronger player who can hold the ball up even better. But I think right now, seeing this early form of the guy, I think he looks incredibly exciting. Incredibly exciting. That's it, carries it on the right hand sides. Right now, we've got a very nice little taster behind what to expect from Nicholas Jackson. He's 21. Where's he going to be at 23, 24, 25? That's what I find really interesting. The fact that we're wrapping business up quickly where we want no competition right now, it does speak volumes about the confidence that the club has in the signing right now. How do you feel about this? Are you excited about Nicholas Jackson? Let us know below. And on that note, I'm in the FC. This is Blue Lions TV. Catch you guys later with some more videos.